Hi guys, I am coming at you with a pay to play money maker today. Uh, you need five items, the being a hammer, the slash book and the battered key from the first elemental workshop quest, coal and a pickaxe that you can wield. You will also need some combat levels, probably mid 30s is minimum ideally more into the 40s and 50s to avoid needing food on the runs right what we will be making is the mine shields the mine shield is a shield you can make after the completion of the elemental workshop 2 quest uh, you need to smith a primed mine bar which is made from a Elemental bar, which is made from an elemental ore and four coal. Uh, you then use the slash book, uh, use the prime bar on the uh, anvil in the workshop whilst having the slash book in your inventory to make mine shield. Uh, the GE price is currently 25k i believe it's close to 20k at this time um but i will show you what you need to do to make them and we will go from there okay so for each run you'll need in your inventory the hammer the slash book and the battered key and 20 coal we'll be doing five shields a run and you also need your pickaxe you can put armor on i won't need any because i have 91 defense but what you do is you come into the elemental workshop by going through this odd looking wall and you come down here so what i will do is i will go through the process with you and we will time it to see how long a run of five takes hi right, guys you need to kill these elemental earth elementals you have to go for the ones which have the mine option not the ones which are wandering around this is why you need the pickaxe in order to be able to mine them uh, and they are weak to damage done by a pickaxe so it makes sense to use it as the wieldable item so we need to get five of these ores Okay, and that's the second elemental ore. I will be back to you when I have done this run. Once you have your five elemental ore, you want to go over to the southern room where you will use the elemental ore on the furnace. And you will get elemental metal for that. It's not a lot of experience, but we're not doing this for experience. We are doing this for money. Now, using once you've done that, you climb down the hatch in the centre, and this is where you prime the bars. So what you do is you put the bar onto the jig cart. You pull the right hand lever in order to pick it up. You then pull the right hand lever again. Now you pull the left hand lever in order to swing the bar over to the lava. You pull the right hand lever to dunk it in. As you can see, it changes color. Now you swing it back round and pull the right hand lever twice in order to drop it onto the jig cart you then turn and you pull this lever here which sends it round to this section so if you wait by this lever now you pull that lever and it flattens the bar you then pull that lever again over here in order to send it round to the next section 
you turn the corkscrew lever no you don't you pull this lever to open the door then you turn the corkscrew lever and then you turn it again you close the door you come over and you open this lever turn that valve sorry and then you turn this valve then you close this valve off and close this valve off as well you pull this lever turn the corkscrew lever turn the corkscrew lever again and you then pull the old lever to close the door and go on back over to this lever here in order to send it round to the final bit which is the cooling fan you then pull this lever the fan cools it down you pull the lever again to stop it you pull it round like this and you take from the jig cart so that's the process i will do the other four and i will speak to you when i hi guys once you have made your primed bars you will need uh, restore potions of some variety uh, you also need ideally the highest ma magic level you uh, can get um, although I believe 80 is the last one where it takes effect so you put it the prime bar onto the extractor gun and operate this what it does is it uses your own mind power and takes 20 of your magic points uh, magic levels temporarily away from you so you do this Oh, didn't mean to activate the spec there. Um, although this is smashing, it's a nice money maker. Um, <laughs> so you take that from the extractor gun, put it on again, sit it in the seat. Now I drink the restore potion in order to have at least 20 magic uh, it is cheaper to use regular restore potions but I don't have any in the bank so I've just gone for the super restores um, if you use super restores it will waste a lot more of your money so I would recommend just using regular restores uh, you can also utilise a teleport to house if you have a rejuvenation pool or similar. Why have I just left the workshop? I didn't mean to do that. So we'll go back in and what you do is you just use the prime bars on the workbench and you make the elemental mind shield. This run of five took me just shy of 15 minutes. Ignore the 18 minutes there. I uh, had to nip and do something else. So it was about 15 minutes. And the five mine shields are worth 125k. So it's about 500k an hour, which is not too bad. Um, you can do it more efficiently than I did it. Uh, and you could make I, I've done trips in 12 minutes before which would be five trips an hour which is 625k um, so if we head on over to the GA because I now I don't want a noted ring of wealth I really don't I already have one equipped 
whatever. So we head on over to the GA. And if I just have a quick look, the mine shield. 23,964. So 23,963 GP. And so you're making about 24k each one. So just under 125k or up to 625k per hour. Uh, I will be doing other money making guides. So like and subscribe for more content. Is this even? Nope, just get out. Just get out. Just get out. Trying. Still get trying. Out. Still hitting the gate. Get out. I never pushed the hill from with a thing. I am, <laughs> I am not kidding. I'm hitting the get out. Damn. <laughs> what? How are you? Still hitting the gate. Oh, is this even? Nope, just get out. Just get out. Just get out. Trying. Still get driving. Out. Still hitting the gate. I'm never pushing hill from with a thing. I am, <laughs> I am not kidding. I'm hitting the get out. Damn. <laughs> what? How are you? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, whatever! That was awesome! Whatever! <laughs> I knew you would do something like that! It's just her scream that really made it. I'm in your desk. Oh, yeah, you're so horrible. <laughs> 